Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a sew along. For this DIY you will need Simplicity 8554, fabric with matching thread, and basic sewing notions. First I am sewing the front darts in the front of the trench coat to look like so and after I did finish sewing I did press out the seams. Now it's time to attach our front and back pieces together. I'm first just unpinning the pattern piece and then I am going to place the front and back pieces together. I'm only pinning the top part, I'm not pinning the sides. Once the pinning is complete, then you just head to your machine and sew a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. Make sure you backstitch. Once you are done sewing, it is now time to work on the collar and you put your pattern piece number 7 on top of pattern piece number 6 and you put them together by easing the fabrics together, the top and bottom. So pattern piece number 7 is bigger than pattern piece number 6 but if you ease them together it will work. Trust and believe. Once you've eased everything in, it's now time to head to the sewing machine and you'll sew from the one dot to the next dot and make sure that you do not sew the bottom of the collar. And once you're done, flip the collar around and it's time to understitch. In between each step, be sure to take your fabric to the iron to press out those seams. Once the understitching is complete and you have pressed out your seams, it's time to sew the collar onto the jacket or trench coat, whichever one you want to call it. At this point in time, you're sewing through on average three pieces of fabric. So make sure that you are only catching what you need and make sure that the surface underneath the foot is free. Upon the completion of the collar, it is time to now work on the bottom collar, the lower collar. And right now I am putting together pattern pieces 7 and 8 and those pieces must be interfaced. And now it's time to pin. Match up your pieces and pin that collar onto the trench coat. Once that is done, it is again time to head to your sewing machine, sewing a 5 8 of an inch. Also, you want to start at the collar and make your way down and then start at the, again at the collar and make your way down on the other side. I am very much guilty of trying on my clothes as I go and if you're anything like me and you're wondering what it's going to look like, it's going to look something like this and like this. After attaching the collar, I have already gone ahead and surged everything that I need to. Also at this stage, I decided I did not want any sleeves. So now I'm tucking in about 5 eighths of an inch and I am going to go sleeveless. 
to make the sleeveless finish look nice I did go ahead and double fold the sleeve and I am doing a little bit of top stitching as well just for the sleeve so and that's pretty much about it all the rest I did was just attach the side seams I just sewed all the way down sewing a 5 8 of an inch and I also hemmed the bottom at 5 8 of an inch but I hope you all enjoyed this video if you have any questions, comments, anything, feel free to comment them below. Let me know if you plan on making this and what material do you plan on making this. I'll catch you all later.